Here we go. What's up everyone? It's the 7th of March, 8am. Um, we are, today's the big move to Melbourne. Um, our flight's at 10.15, so we've got to get ready and leave the house in probably a half, or oh, 45 minutes. And for that whole time, I'm just going to be doing my hair. That is a joke. Please laugh. Um, Everything I also need to pack is just there, which is just all my camera stuff and laptop stuff to go. But yes, a big day, moving for a minimum of three months, around 100 days, um, minimum, minimum, depending on how the recovery goes for this transplant. So I should be back in Tasmania by mid-July. Um, which will be win winter time down here by then, so it'll be rather cold, but here we are. Rather momentous day. I guess I'll try and soak in the last five minutes in this house before we go. But... So we just landed in Melbourne about an hour and a half ago and we've just got into the apartments. Um, the exact same apartments that we were in before when I had that three day preliminary testing period. We got hooked up by PTAS which is a government thing, patient transfer assistance scheme so they're kind of paying for the apartment because obviously we were staying here for three months which is a long period of time. So what we have is uh, two singles in one bedroom and a king in the other bedroom so I reckon I'll stay in the king for the first couple of days because after then I'll be in hospital for probably about a month and a half and then mum can take the king and then people who come up and visit can stay here in this other room so we're just unpacking everything and I don't think anything's ha well, nothing's happening today besides we'll go out for dinner somewhere and I'm still going to try and figure out what's happening tomorrow, as in I could be having my port put in. 
like um because i haven't got a port in right now so it's either happening tomorrow but i know for sure that we're starting treatment on the 7th um which is on tuesday it's sunday right now but yeah just just landed um i need to check out stuff like the wi-fi see how that goes and and hopefully I can still upload these sort of things quite frequently for you all. Um, other than that, yeah, just going to chill and I'll probably see you later on tonight to get a workout. I'm going to try and get a workout at Doldy's in the CBD before because I think today will be on my last training session unless tomorrow we have nothing to do. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next clip. There's an intruder. Get there. What? You're outside. No, I'm here. No. I can't stay near Mop. Why? It's too noisy. Hey, go on, Mop. Oh, you fucking troll me, Mop. that's day one in Melbourne done um, pretty chill day not much <laughs> nothing actually happened um, oh yeah something did happen we, we came here into the apartments and um, I gave you that tour then that's when mum once went somewhere and then I went to the bathroom to go to the toilet and then I came back out here and mum was out in, in this in the double single room and my friend Ben was <laughs> uh, lying on the other bed I haven't seen him for like a long time because he used to live in um, Tasmania with us but then he moved to Newcastle in Sydney and oh, in New South Wales and then to Perth in WA so he's here for one day and then leaving tomorrow um, we went and had dinner at in St Kilda, which took us like about two hours to get there because we don't know how to operate the tra <laughs> the trams. Um, but t tomorrow we found out I've got, I've got nothing to do, just another day off, and then on the seventh or the eighth, the eighth, which is the Tuesday, I go in, I'll get the chest port put in, and then the chemo will start the day after, I believe at this point. So. Um, yeah, that's what's happened at the moment. But other than that, nothing else really happened today. We didn't go to the gym at all today. I, w I wanted, would have wanted to, but just the dinner thing took too long. Um, but tomorrow we're getting breakfast at the Langham Hotel. And then the whole the rest of the day's off. So hopefully we'll get some sort of gym session at Doldy's there later on. Because it's I went there um, in March 2014 for the... I'm oh, sorry, 2015 for the... Arnold Classic Australia, like when I, every, all of the people I follow were down here for the expos and I went to the gym and trained, not with them, but trained um, beside them, or alongside them and got pictures and that sort of stuff. 
Um, the Arnold Classic actually is in two weeks. Um, I'll be in hospital. I'll probably be a bit crook by then. Yeah, that's day one. Day one of probably a minimum of, I think it's 112 days. Because the 100 day minimum stay starts on the transplant day, which is still like 12 days away. Anyway, I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you.